One of the Jets' last pieces of offseason business was taken care of on Monday when veteran receiver Jamison Crowder accepted what I'm told is a significant pay cut from his $10 million salary and will be at the full team minicamp that begins on Tuesday morning. Now, this really was inevitable because Crowder did not have many options and the writing was on the wall as soon as the Jets drafted rookie receiver Elijah Moore in the second round back in April. He pencils in as a slot receiver, which is exactly what Crowder is, and Crowder knew at that point that the Jets likely didn't have a full-time role for him, so he could either accept a pay cut or he could be cast out onto the open market where he probably would not find as much money this late in the cycle. Now, the Jets do believe, at least Robert Salas says, that there can be a role on this team for both Moore and Crowder. Robert Sala has talked about how Moore can be used all over the field. He can be used on the outside, he can be used on the inside. He certainly showed that at spring practices where he dazzled from all positions with his speed, with his quickness, with the way he picked up the offense. It remains to be seen, though, exactly how feasible that is because the Jets do have two tall receivers on the outside with Corey Davis and Denzel Mims. So Moore really looks like more of a slot receiver, which makes Crowder a part-time player at best. It's also possible that he's being brought back more as insurance or possibly as a trading chip. Now, the Jets know from last year when they had so many receiver injuries that they need bodies to have just in case injuries start to happen again. And Crowder would be terrific depth because at 28 years old, he's still a very good player. But they also could use him perhaps to find that veteran cornerback that they need or a backup quarterback, another hole on their roster. So bringing Crowder back gives the Jets some options. Which one they choose, we may not find out until later in the summer, but at least now we'll get finally a look at Moore and Crowder on the field together and perhaps we'll get some hints as to how Sala and the Jets plan to use both of them together during the minicamp this week.